Hello everyone. In this plate tectonics video, we're going to be examining destructive plate boundaries. Now in a destructive plate boundary, this is a convergent plate boundary. What this means is that the convection currents move together, and they move towards each other. This movement generates friction between the convection currents and the plates, and drags the plates towards each other as well. Now in this type of plate boundary, we have two different varieties of plates. We have an oceanic plate, which is underneath the ocean, and we have a continental plate as well. And what happens is that the oceanic plate is denser than the uh, continental plate, and therefore the oceanic plate becomes subducted underneath the continental plate. As it becomes subducted, it rubs and it causes earthquakes. This zone is known as the Benioff zone. The part that becomes subducted of the oceanic plate underneath the continental plate will also become superheated and it will begin to melt. This will cause magma to rise up underneath the continental plate and to start to fill the magma chamber that's found there. This is why we get volcanoes on the continental plate. For example, Mount St. Helens is one of these volcanoes that occurs on the continental plate in a destructive plate boundary. Then this volcano then erupts, the lava rises up through the vent and explodes in a volcanic eruption. In addition to this, on a destructive plate boundary, the pressure of the oceanic plate pushing into the continental plate bends and folds the continental plate. This is why we get very large mountain ranges that are also found on uh, continental plate boundaries. These are called fold mountains, and some of the largest mountain ranges in the world are fold mountains. The Andes in South America, the Rocky Mountains in North America as well, these are also different types of fold mountains. Finally, we also get uh, a trench that is formed. This is the very deep part of the ocean, and it occurs where these two plate boundaries meet. Where the oceanic plate becomes subducted, it leaves this gap or trench deep inside the ocean. A good example of one of these deep oceanic trenches is the Marianas Trench that's found in the Pacific Ocean, just off of the coast of the Philippines and Indonesia. So as you can see in this diagram, I've added five different numbers. These numbers indicate the order that you would explain the diagram. So to repeat again, number one, the convection currents move together. Number two, this causes friction to drag the plates in the same direction. Number three, the oceanic plate is subducted underneath the continental plate. Number four, the oceanic plate melts and that magma rises underneath the continental plate into the magma chamber. And number five, the movement of these plates causes folding and generates fold mountains along the continental plate boundary. I hope you've enjoyed this video, and if you found it useful, please like it. If you'd like to see more content of this variety, please subscribe to the channel. Thank you very much for watching, and have a really great day.